out of a thousand patients, five to ten of them uh, get a healthcare associated infection. And this number needs to be decreased. About four million cases of uh, surgical side infections um, occur yearly in Europe. And uh, this forms for an enormous economic burden for, for our healthcare system in Europe. Currently, people try to decrease the infection rate by working very uh, sterile. Um, so washing their hands, using antiseptics to, to clean the, the wound of the, the surgical site uh, beforehand and also giving the patients antibiotics. Once there is an infection, the treatment options are limited and we f need to find novel um, treatments to, to get rid of these uh, multi-resistant strains. Honey has been there for thousands of years and used for helping wound repair and honey can attack these pathogens and bacteria and the bacteria will not get resistant towards honey. And that's the big advantage. Honey is not expensive, can be used everywhere in the world to prevent uh, infections. It's um, not only the intrinsic factors like the low pH and the high osmolarity of, uh, of, of honey, but uh, it's also due to its compounds, um, which are multiple. Besides topical application of honey uh, or uh, use against microbes. Honey has also been shown to protect in different areas of the body. Medical grade honey can play a large contribution in treating uh, surgical site infections but uh, also in preventing surgical site infections um, and therefore I think there are uh, a lot of uh, possibilities where medical grade honey can be used uh, besides its conventional treatment.